So I'm going to go into the register and say, and if you are using bank feeds, by the way, we have a whole nother section or course on bank feeds, but just to mention them as they might come up, if you sold the stocks or bonds and waited till it cleared the bank feed, then we would see a deposit in the system of 12,250, which we would have to account for, which would be unusual in bank feeds. And we would have to you know, add it in a similar way as we add the register here. So I'm gonna make this as of 020223. And it's not gonna, I don't want a check number. So I'm gonna call it a, a deposit because this is actually a deposit. I'm not gonna use the deposit form because I'm gonna enter it directly into the register here. So I'm gonna say this comes from Vanguard because that's who we invested in. And the deposit we got, notice we got, notice it's trying to memorize the transaction as a payment, but it's actually a deposit. So I've gotta be in the deposit side of things. It's gonna be for 12,250. That's how much we received. Now here, because it only shows one line and I need two lines because I have to have the short-term investment go down to zero and I need the gain. So I'm gonna hit the splits down here and that gives me this little split so I can now have multiple accounts entering them into the register. Still a pretty quick data input field, a little bit easier possibly than opening up the deposit form. So I've got the short-term investment, but that's 12,000 that needs to go down because I can't bring it below zero. The memo is gonna be the sale of short-term investment. And then we're gonna have a gain. So I'm gonna hit the drop down and see, do we have any like gain? account that they gave us doesn't look like it so i'm going to call this gains on let's say sale of investment sale of investment so this is a realized gain i'm going to say tab i want to set it up set it up now i don't want to put it in uh, as an expense it should be an income account so i'm going to say but i'm not even going to put it in the normal income i want to put it at other income Normal income would be at the top of the income statement. Other income will be at the bottom. And that allows us to have a subtotal of our income from normal operations and then have the other stuff, which is unusual to our kind of business at the bottom. So I'm going to say save it. I'm going to copy my description up top and just put that here too. And that looks good. That should do it. So this is going to, de this is going to increase the checking account. It's gonna take the short-term investment down to zero and record the gain on the income statement. Let's record it and say, let's go back to the balance sheet. And so now it's gone, we can't see it there, uh, but I can go back up top, customize, advanced, and I'm gonna see, I wanna see all active stuff. So it shows me the zeros uh, that had activity in it for those accounts. Here's the short-term investment, double clicking on it. So we took it back down to zero because we sold it. And then uh, the other side went to the profit and loss. It's not up here in income. It's down here in the, the gains on sale. So it's in other income down below. So we see the subtotals. We've got our total income minus the cost of goods sold gets us to the pit stop along the way of 16,615 gross profit minus the ordinary income. Uh, the ordinary expenses or total expenses that gives us our net ordinary income pit stop along the way and then we got the other stuff that's not part of our normal business income which uh, brings us to the net income total on down below